tinfoil hat. No, oh, what the fuck are you guys even talking about? Global controls will have to be imposed, and, 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 and a world governing body will be created to enforce them. Welcome to tinfoil hat. We, 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 we go deep, homeboy. Aaron, open your mind. Drink. From the fountain of knowledge. There's lizard people everywhere. That's some interdimensional shit. Wake up, Aaron. This is only the beginning. Dude, you just blew my mind. Are you ready to get your mind blown? And welcome to Tinfoil Hat. Uh, you know I'm at, who I am. You know I'm here to do. I'm here to rock. rock. There we go. I, I can't hear him. Is he good? I didn't hear that's the way. Huh? Yeah, I can't hear you. Fired? There you we fully go. Fired me? There we go. Dude, we took away your research. <laughs> you took away, we took away. Now we took away your rock. Now you got no microphone. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, God, we love Tim Foil Hat fans. The Swarm, you are the best. Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, th- today's episode is going to be a wild one. We have the. Uh, we have the uh, Bishop Larry Gators. He's back. We're super excited about that. Uh, a lot of great things going on in our world. I believe I have a date coming up. I, I said I would take the date. We'll see if it's confirmed. But I will be in Buffalo, New York at Helium's. Okay. I will be there the 9th through the 11th, everybody. July 9th through the 11th. That is a Thursday through Saturday. Daddy's not doing Sunday shows anymore, and I just won't take the gig. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, It is Thursday, 8 p.m., Friday, 7.30, Friday, 10.30, Saturday, 7.30, Saturday, 1030, limited seating. Grab it while you can. Come meet all my family because I I was born in Niagara Falls and uh, I have family in Buffalo. So come meet all my crazy relatives. I'm excited about that. I'm sure you just Google Healy and Buffalo and you can grab your tickets once those are in fact released. And then the following week, we are in Tacoma and we are in uh, Spokane. We go Spokane Saturday night, I believe, uh, Friday night. And then we go, so it's it's uh yes spokane comedy club july 17th at 10 p.m uh you can grab those tickets at spokanecomedyclub.com and then you can go to coma then the next day we're at tacoma comedy club july 18th uh at 4 20 p.m and that is the tacoma comedy club and uh yes that is great right there super excited about that the patreon's on fire dude i can't watch espn i can't i can't watch anything on the news anything it's everything is psyop heavy now that's why you gotta go to patreon.com backslash tinfoil hat you get your daily doses today we're gonna be talking to my buddy body and we're gonna be discussing anthony weiner and the laptop and with the new york nypd and how a bunch of those guys are no longer with us isn't that crazy and how again all you guys are trying to make chris D'Elia seem like the bad guy <laughs> and you want this guy to be president when the fbi said that he produced kitty porn but that's another show okay so i'm gonna be doing that and then good news the artwork is done starting next week is my new spiritual podcast and i'd probably like to have the bishop larry gators on to talk spirituality and religion and it will be uh that'll be on rockfin.com and that will be Every Thursday, I will be dropping that. Starting the first episode will just be me talking about the journey I want to go on. And then I already have about five people lined up. And it's just no conspiracies, uh, no sports. No, it's just straight up uh, on this kind of spiritual journey to lose ego, to find what the universe is all about. So go to rockfin.com, put at zero, I'm zero, and you'll find it. So that's it. Well, how's your show going? It's good. Uh, George Press stories. It's a little crazy. Nothing like this one. Like Sam says, my own thing. We do talk to strippers. We interview crazy people. Um, also, I do got a show June seventeenth. No, July July fifteenth at the Brett Improv. Uh, me, George Press, and uh, Ricky Rick. So buy your tickets. It's only two hundred. Only eighty left. So get on it. So so nice name twice. Broken Simulation is rising up the. What? Thank you, Johnny. Oh. Check that well, you out. said it's rising up the. It's and rising then up said the no charts. People okay. are talking. Okay. 
People are talking. People are talking. talking. It's uh, Sam Tripoli Comedy on YouTube and then just Broken Simulation. Uh, wherever you consume podcasts. Wherever you consume podcasts, go check it out. A lot of great things. T-shirts are on fire. Ooh. Go to t-shirts, tinfoilhattshirts.com. Enough of the talk. We've talked enough. It's time to get to bring in. He has been on. Uh, I've often get asked, name the Mount Rushmore tinfoil hat. And uh, uh, without a doubt, this guy is tinfoil hat royalty. Right? He's royalty. Are we, Johnny, would you agree? Thank you, Johnny. Absolutely. Fuck you. Please welcome <laughs> uh, a legend of the game and a, uh, you know, probably a once a month guest at this point because he's always got something to blow our minds with. Please welcome the Bishop, Larry Gators. How are you, Bishop? I am Brother Sam and um, Brother Xavier and to your staff. I'm so very honored to be back on um, one of America's most powerful shows, the Tin Foil Hat Podcast, here today. So we're looking forward to uh, blowing the minds of your listeners again. Thank you. Uh, could you say Brother Johnny because his feelings got a little hurt when you didn't say his <laughs> I'm name? Sorry. Uh, Brother Johnny, forgive me. Forgive me, Brother Johnny. So, Brother Sam, Brother Xavier, and Brother Johnny, again, thank you so much for allowing me to grace your, uh, your powerful podcast. And we're going to get into something tonight regarding this psyop and this mess that's happening in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So uh, real quick, because uh, I, uh, people, I hope, uh, someone told me you might have a new podcast, or is, is this your radio show? Or someone said they were listening to one of your shows. Is it your radio show, or did you start your own podcast? Or where can they no, find no, your no. beautiful voice? No, no we're, uh, we are a nationally and internationally syndicated radio show through the Life Radio Network 92.9 FM 1460 AM. You can also check us out uh, on liferadionj.com forward slash gators, liferadionj.com forward slash gators. So we're nationally syndicated through the Life Radio Network. And also we are internationally syndicated through the iHeart Radio Network in the iHeart Media Group. We average between 20 to 25 million listeners per week. So uh, that may sound like a huge number, but it, but it's not, according to 7.6 billion people. So we are in <laughs> we're, we're It's really massive. Absolutely. Well, it is massive. And it's very interesting because, like, we talk about in the podcasting game about, like, the king right now is Joe Rogan. And, like, I don't know his exact numbers episode. I think it, it could be anywhere from 10 to 20 mil, maybe. I don't know. But still, it, in a country of 320 mil, that's a tiny bit. And then you go, how many of those people are international? A large portion of mm -hmm. it. So it's like podcasting, your radio show. We're now just starting to grow and people are starting to leave the corporations, leave the psyop that is yeah. the mainstream media because you just can't get away from it. And it's like, I feel bad for those who can't unplug because they think what's being talked on. And that's what happens. They think that the dialogue happening on these mainstream media outlets is the dialogue happening all over the place. And that's not true. This is the manufacturing dialogue getting all the sheep herded into the corral. And that's not what it is. So when you, you know, it's like we talked about to Von Gaal, when you kind of pick the, you know, take the actions to change your life. And for me, that is not watching the news, not watching mainstream entertainment, and just detaching. You know, uh, it's amazing how the world seems like a wonderful place. But they're taking over. The you know, Trevor Noah. They all got their own podcast now. They're all moving. You hear radio? Yeah, but it means nothing. It means it, nothing. We were just talking about the charts. But it means nothing it doesn't, because but... it's empty calories because it's not real people. And it sounds important. And it looks like oh, I'm number seven. So the guy that ran Comedy Central into the ground is now number seven on podcasts. Doesn't make sense. Please, Larry Bishop, Larry Gators. What do you want to talk about? Minnesota's crazy. I feel like it's almost fading at the, like we live in this country that is a, uh, you know, there's just goldfish and what next, what next, what next people don't realize like what happened in Minnesota and like what really happened in Minnesota aren't the same thing. No, the paradigm of manipulation on uh, the paralysis of emotion, uh, black America uh, is being played. We are being manipulated because for the past 100 years, the deep state has been both manipulating and weaponizing our historical trauma that we as a people have never dealt with. So the death of George Floyd has nothing to do with racism, okay? 
It has to do with the cover-up concerning a major drug trafficking ring between Derek Shaven and George Floyd. I have an inside source in the Minneapolis <laughs> Police Department. Okay, and I do have a relative who is a cop, but I haven't spoken to him for years. This is another cop. It has nothing to do with racism. So when we talk about paradigm, which is a set replication, a set pattern, and the term paralysis signifying the loss of the ability for people to think, to reason, to understand. Why? Because we have a generation of people who are 30, 60, 80 years old, but emotionally, they're still in the third trimester. Why? Because of trauma. And this is called arrested development. So when we're talking about PSYOP, okay, the, the manipulation of the PSYOP, in other words, what is going on now in Minneapolis is nothing more than a CIA black operation. Okay? Yes. So when we talk about manipulation real quick, quickly, so the term manipulation means psychological warfare, okay? Now, when we go and study the history or the origins of the U.S. psychological uh, psyop warfare, now, when you notice the logo of the U.S. Army 1st Psychological Division, it is uh, it's shaped, the, the entire logo has the horse's head, the, the head of a horse, that represents the chess piece called the knight, okay? Right. Now, you go into the lobby of the Central Intelligence Agency in Langley, Virginia, it has 64 squares. Well, how many squares are on the chessboard? 64. And so when the founding fathers created um, the foundation of the Central Intelligence Agency, when you go into the lobby, it has 64 squares. Now, there are 64 square pieces on the chessboard operation. This represents that what's going on in Minneapolis, Sanford, Florida, Baltimore, Maryland, okay, and all of the country is one gigantic psyop, okay, which we call telekinesis, okay, <laughs> or omnikinesis. Well, what is telekinesis? What is omnikinesis? It is the manipulation of the human psyche through witchcraft. Through manipulation. Real? So, oh. it, so it has nothing to do with racism. Going back some years ago with Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray was a crack dealer in Baltimore who was servicing the entire apparatus of the Baltimore Police Department. Had nothing to do with racism. It had to do with Freddie Gray was going to expose the entire apparatus of the Baltimore Police Department. So when we study the PSYOP entitled Problem Reaction Solution, where the deep state creates a manufactured crisis that solicits the emotional anger of the people because we never dealt with the trauma of our past. So there's a difference between uh, knowing who you are, knowing what you are. Now, remember some months ago when I was on your broadcast for the very first time, when we examine the word Negro, okay? Now, I'm not interpreting the word Negro from Spanish. I'm going to interpret it from the Greek Hellenistic text. It means necro. What does necro mean? It means necromancy, necrophiliac, having sex with the dead corpse. Oh, I, I my you God. Not, the term Negro, necrophilia, and notice those last six letters? Capital P H I L I A, which is the acronym for the city of Philadelphia, the hometown of Kobe Bean Bryant. So when you talk about Negro, necrophiliac, necromancy, another interpretation for the term Negro is another uh, uh, Greek term, Nekros, capital N E K R O S, which means casket or coffin. That's interesting. Now, I've heard, you know, the story of Cain and Abel, what the Hasidic Hebrew term for Cain is blood and the Hasidic Hebrew term for Abel is crypt. This is where we get the term bloods in crypt. What? So then when you connect the terms Cain to Abel, you get the word cannibal. OK, so this is a of a people who don't know who they are. They think their name is 50 cent, quarter, nickel, penny, ice, <laughs> ice, ice tray, pit ball, two pack, 20 pack, because they don't know who they are. They know what they are, but they refuse to know who they are. And this is the paradigm of manipulation. 
to the psyop of emotionalism here today. Again, that term Negro, Necros. Also, the term Negro, according to um, the author, Dr. Richard B. Moore, in his book entitled Negro, Its Origin and Evil Use, he says on chapter five that the term Negro, spelt from right to left, reveals the Latin word origin. What? Capital O-R-G-E-N, which means origin. Oh Let me my say this God. Again. <laughs> the term Negro, when spelt right to left, now people say, well, Bishop, why do you do that? It's called <laughs> inversion. This is what the mindset of the deep state is. If you're going to cut up the head of the serpent, you have to know what the psychology oh, sure. of the serpent is. So the term Negro spelt backwards is the Latin term origin, which means orgy, or a cell in a gene replication theory. It is the psyop of mental death, as we're talking about the greatest, not just the greatest global cover-up in human history, but the greatest global cover-up in human history that is based on the psyop of both manipulation and emotionalism. And quickly, before we give the floor over to you guys, <laughs> yes. question, when we talk about manipulation, so the deep state is using telekinesis and omnikinesis. Omni means all, kinesis or kin, which means bloodline. So through the bloodline of people of Black American descent, no, I'm not going to use the word Africa, because that was not the original name of the continent. That came from a white Roman family, the Africanus family, in 202 BC. So Scipio Africanus defeated Hannibal in 202 <laughs> BC during the Second Punic War and changed the name of the continent from Machibulon, which means Garden of Eden, to Africanus, which is Africa today. So Black people, stop. Stop calling yourself African. If you are anti-white, why are you um, following and naming yourself through the sire oh my of the God. family who practice uh, child pedophilia, child sacrifice, and spirit cooking? This is the manipulation uh, going through, not just the manipulation, which is a paradigm, of our thinking, but through the psyop of emotionalism. Let me break this down before we give the floor over to you guys. <laughs> yes. Now, this term here, deep state, it goes into a deeper connotation. Now, according to the author, Mike Lofgren, uh, he wrote a 2016 book entitled The Deep State, okay? So he talks about the term the deep state comes from two Persian words. The term deep means Siamese. This is where we get the term Siamese twins. And state means twin. So when we're talking about the logo or the insignia or the tattoo on the chest of George Floyd that has a double-headed eagle wing with the number 32 in the middle. Well, how many squares did we do we have on the chess board? 64. What's half of 64? 32 degrees in the Masonic order. It is not by accident that George Floyd had that tattoo on his chest. This is the paradigm of manipulation through the psyop of emotionalism. Let's continue on. And as a quick side note, that term Negro is also interpreted into a fifth Greek uh, uh, Hellenistic interpretation. It comes from a fifth Greek word, necromort. Oh, that's interesting. Capital N-E-C-R-O-M-O-R-T, which means embalming fluid. So why are Black people calling themselves the N-word, okay? Necrophiliac, necromort. In other words, you are saying that you are embalming fluid. The term necro waste means bodily waste. You're saying that you are S H I T. That's this is the condition of yep. Black America. I gotta and, be honest with you, brother. Like the oh. stuff you're saying right now, I mean, I I, I didn't know all this, but we have talked before yeah. about the N word and like how it is 100% a psyop. And when you get these guys, it's like, it's like probably in the Travis Stock Institute, 
They came yeah. up with this and they're like, let's get them to call each other. This word that was said to them by the, uh, the, the slave masters. And, and it's like, and the weirdest thing is like, they, it's, uh, it's, and I understand because there's a lot of belief within the black community that uh, they there's things that the white people can do that they're not allowed to do, and I don't know what that is. I, they think I think there's you know it's like uh, you always see and I, again we talk about this all the time. Black conservatives are the new punk rock, in my opinion. They're like, dude, they're like, they're, they're like, they, the everyone's yinning, they're yanging, dude. You know, they're zigging, they're zagging, and uh, I, I really do respect that, man, one hundred percent. And, and you know that you hear them talk and they go on and you watch their Instagram stories. They, and they're always talking to people and like, there's there, you know, God bless them. But there's black people out there that think white people could just go to the bank and yeah. get a loan. Like we'd be like, Hey dude, 50 grand, 50 grand, hundred grand, hundred grand. And they're like, okay. And we walk out with it. It's like, no man. It's like, Dude, my credit was so bad to get a car. I had to pay the most insane. It's like the if it wasn't for robots, meaning auto pay, my credit <laughs> would be shit. You can get auto pay too. It doesn't care. You know, that's just like that's why all this stuff. I know, dude, what you're saying is so deep. And everyone always says to me, a Bishop, they're always like, man, not everything is conspiracy. And I go. Well, when you start studying it, it really is. Dude, he just blew my yeah. mind. You know which one blew my mind the other day? EBT, BET. Is that a coincidence? What are the chances that they're both fucking EBT? And, and Wouldn't who, doubt it. I, Wouldn't some, doubt someone it. told me, blew my mind. I was like, no fucking way. What are just the coincidences? Just think of like then, what is happening right now. What is being asked? It's, it's like, dude, the fact that, you know, listen, man. Uh, I, I, I've said this before that, you know, uh, Dave Chappelle making fun of trans isn't really like edgy at all. In my opinion, it's there's homophobia within the black community and mostly because there's a lot of down low brothers. Okay. There's a lot of them. They don't want to admit that who they are. Um, but I mean, like, uh, Oh, your mar black lives matter marching with the gay community like those people don't that those groups don't get along if there's ever a sign of a psyop right there you know we always hear it you know it's like the black community and they have every right to 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 say this is like their civil rights movement has been hijacked by the gay community that's the problem now again you said black lives matter so when we say black lives matter, the term matter doesn't mean significance or doesn't mean matter is a piece of a property. <laughs> oh, there you go. So matter in the minds of black Americans, they think we are of significance, which is true. But in the mind of the serpent, okay, the deep state, they don't look at Black America as any um, form of value and significance. They look at matter as a piece of a property, as a piece of a charity, a piece of a DNA. So when we're talking about that double-headed eagle that was on the chest of George Floyd, as we're talking about the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. It represents that Siamese twin double-headed eagle with the number 32 in the middle. Now, remember, what's half of 64 squares on a chessboard? 32. So George Floyd having that number 32. When you go into the lobby of the CIA, it has 64 squares, which means if you and I, uh, Brother Xavier or Brother Sam or Brother Johnny will go into the lobby of the CIA. You and I will be nothing more than a chess piece. Yep. A pawn in the psychology of the Central Intelligence Agency. Now, let's start with the first head of this snake or the first head of this eagle, Antifa. Now, the term Antifa means anti fascist. The question is, where did Antifa come from? What is the origin of what we call the origination of Antifa? Well, the term Antifa means anti-fascist, but it also comes from the German word Aktion, capital A-K-T-I-O-N, which means action. Well, 
the term Antifa in the entire organization today was birthed from Nazism, going back before the advent of World War II and during the advent of World War II. So Antifa uh, also represents a structural, get this, illumination for manipulation of matter. I don't, I don't think you caught that. In other <laughs> words, here, through structural in, uh, illumination, where we get the term Illuminato, the North American Trade Organization Alliance, or Illuminati, which is another Nazi psyop, okay? So structural illumination for manipulation of matter. What matter? Black Lives Matter, which was founded by three black witches. Listen, there is no fear in Bishop Gators. Why? Because I am, <laughs> I am an assassin. I don't have a lot of friends, Brother Xavier and Brother Johnny and Brother Sam. My job is to cut the head of the snake off. Okay. I don't care. As we're talking about the, uh, not just the paradigm of manipulation, but also the science of emotionalism. So then Antifa is the military arm of Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is the propaganda arm of Antifa. Propaganda has two Latin words. To prop and the word aganda means agenda. So the agenda of Antifa is to protect the of the head of the snake. Black Lives Matter. And the agenda of this snake, Black Lives Matter, is to propagate the doctrine of Antifa. So then Antifa started going back to 1933. It started with um, a Nazi spy master by the name of Reinhard Gillen. Reinhard Gillen was a 33rd and one half degree Scottish Rite Mason who was one of Hitler's right hand men. And he created the psyop of what we call Antifa today. A Nazi, okay, a Jew killing devil created Antifa, which means anti-fascist, okay? So Antifa was built through the Third Reich. The term Reich means realm, but it also means psyop. So the Third Reich, the Nazi regime, then we have the Fourth Reich, Antifa, and Black Lives Matter. The Fifth Reich will be a communist caliphate state in the United States, as we're talking about uh, the manipulation and the psyop of emotionalism through America today. So quickly, Antifa. Now, when we talk about Antifa again, now, according to Albert G. Mackey, who wrote on uh, the Encyclopedia of the Masonic Order. Now, notice that term, encyclo, okay. encyclo, encyclop. What is a cyclop? The uh, one eye of Lucifer that's on the back of the $1 bill. Cyclopedia, cyclop. So the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion starts with the origin of Antifa being constructed by Adolf Hitler through, Herm, through uh, Hermann Goering and General Reinhard Gellin. This is where George Soros, whose name is Georgie Swartz, got that psyop from. So Antifa today is the continuation of the Third Reich through Reinhard Gillen. Now quickly here, as we're talking about this paradigm of manipulation. So then Antifa, which started in 1945, actually 1933 to 1945, from 1933 to 1945, during the 12 years of the Third Reich, Reinhard Gillen, who was a Nazi super spy and through Operation Paperclip, was allowed to help build the Central Intelligence yep. Agency, the KGB, South African Intelligence, including helping to restructure the British MI6, yep. which is the British equivalent of the American CIA. So Antifa today is the continuation of Nazi intelligence through the Waffen-SS. Now that logo for the Waffen-SS 
is a double branded boat. Well, that's on not just the forehead uh, of Harry Potter. That's not <laughs> only the insignia of the U.S. psychological operations that has the letter Psi, capital P-S-I, which means psychic or psychology, but also according to Antipa's model, Antipa's model matches the model for U.S. intelligence today persuade, change, to influence. Well, the term influence becomes the term influenza, which means sickness. Yep. So what's happening in Minneapolis is a sickness. What happened in Baltimore and Sanford, Florida, and Eric Garner here in New York City is nothing but a continuation of Antifa, which is part one of this snake through the paradigm of manipulation and the psyop of what we call emotionalism. And as a quick side note, the logo of the U.S. Army psychological operations, and matter of fact, the U.S. Army alone has over 1,000 psychological operations. I'm not even talking about the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force. 1,000 psychological operations does the U.S. Army have. That represents the 1,000 points of life. Come yeah. on, Bush Sr. That also represents yeah. <laughs> a number of millennia. Or I, I, I've got a Sam anointing on me tonight as we're talking about the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. So that logo of the U.S. Army Psychological Operations has the head of a horse. Now, according to the game called Chess, that represents a knight. So a knight is the head of a horse. Then you have black psyops. Then you have white psyops. Then you have gray psyops. So in order for the deep state to recruit the gray psyops, people of all races and colors, they have to put white against black, black against white, in order to divide and conquer America. Now, like I said a few minutes ago, before we get the floor to, to you guys, so in the chess game, it has 64 square. Half of 64 is 32, 32 degrees within the Masonic order. And each player, how many players do we have in chess? Two. So each player has 16 chess pieces. 16 times two equals 32 the number on the chest of George Floyd. So in other words, George Floyd was nothing but a chess piece. God rest For his soul. Sure. That was indeed George Floyd. Go right ahead, brother. So a couple things because, uh, you know, you dropped a lot of hammers right there. <laughs> uh, a lot of Nazism. I'm going to break it down kind of as I understand, if I can remember it all. Uh, basically, uh, you know, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, they're uh, kind of like two different wings of the same thing. They are, in fact, uh, part of the CIA. CIA is part of Nazism. Now, Nazism, what a lot of people don't know, was started basically by a group of the Wonder Vong, W-A-N-D-E-R-V-O, G E L and what they are is they they were the version of Germany's Boy Scouts and they were all boys who had been molested and they had come up and they uh were basically it's called the Pink Swastika and it's the uh, and it's this group of gay Germans who started the Nazis and that's where that so it becomes this whole thing where it's like, if you look at NASA, NASA, Nazi looks very similar together. CIA, all these psyops we've been talking. Not only was there drugs going through this club, there was there was sex trafficking and there was counterfeit money. Uh, we all know the Floyd, uh, just like the the uh, Honorable Bishop Larry Gators stated, was uh, part of the Freemasons. Stephen Jackson's father was a level 33 Freemason. And passed down the, uh, the Freemason apron. He talks about it. We are now slowly watching Stephen Jackson elevate uh, within the uh, civil rights movement. He is uh, being 
he's even talked about becoming the face of it and how he looks forward to, in fact, having it. A big thing that a lot of people are starting to get turned on to is that all of Black Lives Matter's money gets funded to Act Blue, and Act Blue is, in fact, the DNC. And why is that important? Because after the complete other hijacking of the 2016 election by Hillary Clinton over uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, who did what? We all say took a knee, right? Took a knee to Hillary Clinton. Everyone says that you took, you bowed the knee, you bent the knee, which is a very much a uh, submissive thing. It's, uh, you know, in a Game of Thrones, they are take the knee, take the knee, take the knee. It was the whole part of the final season, okay? So no, but they couldn't make any money. The, the DNC could not make any money. Nobody's funding them. They literally had to go to where? They had to go to Canada and where else? Mexico. What happened in Mexico? El Chapo was donating money to the DNC. That's why he ends up getting arrested and he ends up being found guilty of sex trafficking. It's not just narcotics, dude. He actually openly admitted to child sex trafficking and nobody wants to talk to that. So this funding of the DNC, the funding of Black Lives Matters is actually the funding of the DNC. And that's 100% facts. And everybody hates Candace Owens for pointing out, but that is the truth, man. Tom Perez is a garbage man and he hasn't been able to get any funding going because everybody knows that group is just a garbage group of people who have been either throwing it or they're so lost. They don't even know when they're going. They're talking about Joe Biden. You know, Larry Gators brought this up earlier. You're talking about a city, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis in a state, Minnesota, that's completely democratic. Like, why are we, why are you going off on Trump when the cop was the, the cop police chief Democratic, the mayor's Democratic, the governor's Democratic, the senator's a Democratic, the congressman a Democratic. Dude, and everything changed there already. The cop got, cop's going to get arrested, uh, cop's going to get charged, all four of them. The whole, they defunded the police. I don't know what more they want from what happened. But it's, but the point is they're trying to make this about a Trump thing when it's a Democrat thing. I mean, it's just the truth. Well, you know, nobody wants anybody to die. Like the Russian hoax didn't work. The Ukraine hoax didn't work. COVID-19 was dying down, okay? And, and now you have George Floyd. Now, again, every time you see a cop kill it. Now, if it was a black cop killing a black kid, you would not have the reaction. Why? This is called gestalt theory that was created by Nazi clinical psychologists going back in the early 30s, beginning with Dr. Kurt Lewin, who went and came to uh, California at Stanford and created the Parapsychology Research Institute, which Christine Blasey Ford uh, and Jeffrey Morgan Steibel sit on that board, okay, including Dr. Bruce McCandless, who is the chair of the Parapsychology Research Institute. Well, who is Dr. Bruce McCandless? He is the director of the Chinese online uh, educational initiative called BitKid, B-I-P-K-I-D, which was created by two Chinese women. Oh, Cindy Wenjian Mi, who Kobe Bryant gave her a million dollar check <laughs> right here in New York City. Yep, you talked about that. Went through the initial public offering, okay, of the Brian Steibel Venture Capital Fund. Who is Wendy Sin Wenjian Mi? Her family is connected to President Xi Jinping in Beijing because the entire cabinet of President Xi Jinping including Xi Jinping, including the family of Cindy Wen Jami, belong to a Chinese Masonic Lodge called the Zetland Lodge 525 in Hong Kong, China. So Kobe writes her a check uh, for a million dollars. He has never known this woman before. He never met this woman before. So Dr. Bruce McCandless directs the United States satellite of that Chinese online education fund called VipKid. Oh, who is the other co-founder of VipKid? A woman by the name of Wendy Murdoch. She is the ex-third wife of Rupert Murdoch of Fox <laughs> News, the Wall Street Journal, um, the, um, the New York Post, and Sky News throughout Australia and Europe. So as with, and you made mention of Act Blue. 
at blue, and I was saying, teaching this the other day on Crossroads the Truth concerning the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion, that Act Blue was created by Benjamin Ron and Matt DeBergelis, okay, who are engineers, who are practitioners of, of telekinesis, of mind control and manipulation. So Act Blue is uh, condensed into three dimensions. You have Act Blue Foundation, then you have Act Blue Charities, then you have Act Blue the Civic Fund. So the Act Blue Foundation then receives millions of dollars, which they don't have to report to the federal government. Why? Just like the Clinton Global Foundation and the Clinton Global Initiative. So Act Blue through Benjamin Rahm and Matt uh, De Burgalis, who also sat on the board of GoFundMe. Now, the family of George Floyd is cleaning up. And oh, yeah. Even... What's it up to oh, now? Ooh. Look at that up. I'll look it up right now. Millions of dollars going through uh, GoFundMe. GoFundMe is connected to the Act Blue Civic Initiative that's connected to the charity and to the foundation. In other words, Black Lives Matter in the Black Lives, excellent picture there, in the Black Lives Foundation, uh, Brother Sam, it's nothing more than a shell company. Okay, Black Lives Matter, they're looked at as a property. People are talking about, well, I want reparations. In other words, what you're saying, you need to be repaired because the acronym term for reparations means to be repaired. Oh, I believe in affirmative action, but the original content was not called affirmative action, Brother Sam. It was called affirmative property. So are you a property? Are you, uh, do you need to be repaired? This is the PSYOP. And when talking about not just Black Lives Matter, but in Tiba, let me finish this real quick and see you guys got me started here. So, <laughs> and when you're talking about this, not just the paradigm of manipulation, but also the paralysis of emotion. Now we're going to get into uh, not, before we get into Black Lives Matter, you notice the flag of Antifa. And it gets ha, ha, real quick before you go there, because uh, you brought up something. I don't want you to move off this because okay. it's back to your funding thing. You brought up Christine Blassie Ford, right? Did you bring up her name? Yes, the yes, reason sir. why she's very important. And I've told this, and like I was on Anthony Kumia, Kumia's uh, uh, show and um, he was bringing up Kavanaugh. And, dude, I love Anthony. He's I love him, dude. I, I can't believe he has me on his show. It's kind of mind blowing to me. But uh, you know, I brought up and he was like, you know, what happened to Kavanaugh? And I was like, well, you know, Christine Bl Blassie Ford uh, is CIA, and her father, because you're because you're about to get into some funding. Uh, yes. her father was in charge of finding funding for. CIA black ops operations. She, cool. in fact, is part of the Stanford CIA intern program yeah. that is uh, obviously yeah. at Stanford. So, like, she is all that was a giant psyop oh, to yeah. have nobody look at the fact that Kavanaugh Perfect. worked with the Clintons to clean up. The Vince Foster murders. Nobody talked about that. No one talked about that he wrote all the, he helped write the Patriot. No one talked that he basically thinks the president's above the law. No one talks that he's for no, no search warrants on your fucking house. Like that, they didn't want that out. So they create this thing using this, this chick and to fucking get everybody to talk about sexual history instead of actual what does this dude represent it wasn't even a history it was her memory it, it was her wasn't memory. even memory it, it was, was made up yeah. that her she they go two witnesses it was her husband and her therapist yeah. nobody knew her That's not neither ever knew her when she was in high school Yo, so give me a rough estimate on how much you think they funded last time i saw it was 12 14 14 mil yeah and they were asking for one mil and a half that's crazy. And that's not including what Kanye gave her, what the Disney fund gave her, what the homegirl gave her for the daughter. That's, oh, you mean Disney yeah. gave it to her? Oh, yeah. You know, do you see Barbara <laughs> Streisand has given her shares 
mm-hmm. of hers to the kid. I mean, this is what happens, man, when you bought what well, we've talked about this with 9 11, we talked about this with Magic Johnson, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, in my opinion, Mark Wahlberg, Seth McFarlane. They pay these guys an insane amount of money, give them insane amount of projects at this way because they are part of this manipulation i don't know enough about seth mcfarland to go why they chose him but what do we know about johnny and you i would love to hear your opinion on this what do we know about family guy oh family guy was the only show ever to be canceled and to be brought back from the dead right and that's the problem when you, again the psyop thank you okay? Johnny. not the only okay. show yeah. and now there's <laughs> i've been hearing through q that there is an attorney in the state of Texas, or author Texas, he said that the real George Floyd died three years ago. Now, the casket of this George Floyd was only six foot one and a half, but the real George Floyd was six foot six and a half. Yeah. Awesome. This picture, this thing is a psychological CIA black operation. Now, why was George Floyd arrested? Because of a counterfeit $20 bill. Now, I found out three days ago through a contact in the Minneapolis Police Department, who's also a pastor friend of mine, I'm not gonna say his name. He said that the serial numbers on the $20 bill, (laughs) uh, counterfeit bill, matches the serial numbers that the FBI confiscated back in December of 2019 at the port of Minneapolis. $1 million worth of counterfeit money came from China. Now, Listen, the entire apparatus, not every cop, but most of the cops are on the take, not just because of drug trafficking and distribution, okay? And as a side note, the owner of that nightclub, who she said, oh, I didn't know George Floyd, uh, that I didn't know that George Floyd knew Derek Shave, and she's lying because George Floyd was a drug runner for Maya Santa Maria. Who is Maya Santa Maria? She is a close friend of Vanessa Bryant. How do I know that? Because Kobe Bryant, when he played for the Oh, Lakers, my God. Once a year, to play against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They frequented that club. Kobe Bryant, the Lakers, including Vanessa Bryant. So don't get me started on that. And when <laughs> the FBI confiscated that million dollars worth of counterfeit money, it didn't hit the press until the 27th of January, the day after Kobe's death. John, so, uh, uh, Bishop, a uh, real quick, about the video, real quick, did yeah. you notice that nobody in that video is wearing masks at all? Not one person in the video? So the question is, when did that video get taken? Because, okay, the cops aren't wearing it. Okay, a guy on a goofball, which is meth and uh, uh, fentanyl. Okay, he's not wearing it. It's fine. Why are the people filming yelling, he can't breathe, let him up? Why aren't they wearing it? Because if anyone's going to wear it, it's those sheep. Why aren't they, in the, why aren't they wearing or- a fucking mask? There's a chance this was filmed before all the COVID shit. Before all, and, and you know, as a sign note, again, we talk about Stephen Jackson. Okay, his father's name was George Aldrich, capital A R D R I D G E. He was a 33rd degree Prince Hall Mason. That when he died, he left all of his garments to Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes were the last people to interview Kobe Bryant. Did you know that Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes? were the last people to interview Kobe Bryant. Now, I'm not castigating Stephen Jackson, whose mother name is Juliet Jackson, and I'm not castigating the soul of George Floyd, who his mother's name was Judy Jackson. Wait a minute, I'm confused here. Uh-huh. Which Jackson is it? So you have Juliet Jackson, that is Stephen Jackson's mother, and Judy Jackson, who supposedly passed away two years ago, George Floyd. This is a sire <laughs> in order to destroy the president, and to destroy the Constitution. It's not going to work, okay? As we're talking about the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. And let me finish this here. Oh, my God. I I wish we could be here all night. So we (laughs) talked about Antifa. Now, look at the flag of Antifa. Now, the flag of Antifa uh, was the flag. Oh, thank you so much, Brother Xavier. You are the OG, my friends. 
So when we talk about the insignia, now we talked about the foundation, the origination of Antifa, Action, action going back to the Third Reich, which means realm of Siam. Now you notice those two flags, they are in the form of what I call Soviet sickles, or the sickle of communism that goes back to the Bolshevik Revolution. No, now, no, no, no. Did Larry to... get Larry? The, yes. the, the, the sickle goes even farther mm -hmm. back to the black yeah. cube of Saturn. And the and Saturn worshiping, dude. That is straight up out of Saturn worship. You get, when you get a chance, talk to your boy, my boys, who I love to death, and I didn't invite them to the thing, and I feel like shit. Uh, uh, talk to them about the black cube of Saturn and the Russian flag, and they'll tell you that that whole thing derives from uh, a Saturn worship. You're blowing my mind, brother Sam, and, uh, <laughs> brother, brother OG Xavier, and brother Johnny. You guys are teaching me as well as we're talking about the paradigm of, of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. So the flag of Antifa that has that double sickle, then you also have the letter A with the circle around it. That's rooted in divinational witchcraft. Okay, so the logo of Antifa goes back to a Soviet killer by the name of Mikhail Lovich Molotov. Write it down. What? Mikhail Lovich Molotov, who is the creator of the Molotov cocktail. So Mikhail Lovich Molotov created that double red and um, black flag going back to the October 17th 1917 Bolshevik Revolution, where these communists, these Kanzarian devils, overtook the Romanovs and destroyed them. Why? With money from Wall Street through Jacob Ship. And by the way, Adam Shifty Ship is a blood descendant of Jacob Ship of Kum Loban Company. Okay, that's another topic for another day. So <laughs> then the flag of Antifa has a double sickle with the letter A in a circle around it. That's rooting in witchcraftism, warlockism. It's rooted also in the terms money magic, okay? As we're talking about the paradigm of manipulation, the paralysis of emotion, quickly. So Mikhail Lovich Molotov, who created the Molotov cocktail, which <laughs> and, and Black Lives Matter are using. Oh, okay? man! People destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So Mikhail Lovich Molotov was a statesman and a diplomat for Comrade Joseph Stalin, okay? So the insignia, the flag of Antifa, also points to the company called Arm & Hammer. Oh, is there an actor in Hollywood called Army Hammer who is a descendant of that communist family? Another topic for another day. So, again, <laughs> as we close this out, my God, I wish I could stay here all night. As we're talking about that flag of Antifa through the creator of the Molotov cocktail. Tale, okay, Mikhail Lovich uh, Molotov. Now, as a side note, now I know you guys heard of Saul Alinsky, Bruce for Radical. His parents, his father's name was Benjamin Alinsky. His mother's name was Sarah Tantabon. They worked with Lenin, Stalin, and Trotsky and was sent to Chicago in 1916, okay, a year prior to the death of the Romanovs. Why would the Bolsheviks send the parents of Saul Alinsky to create a communist caliphate in Chicago? This is the plan of the deep state. It is to destroy the first constitution in order to fulfill the second constitution. Yes, we have two constitutions. What? The second yeah. In 1871, with pressure of the Vatican through Pope Pius IX, through the financial backing of the Rothschilds in Europe, they forced President Ulysses S. Grant to create a second constitution that has now forced our nation to become a corporation. These devils of the second constitution 
or battling against you and I because we are followers of the first constitution. Now, Black Lives Matter, lives matter. Now, I'm going to reveal something here. Now, there is a term here called thug. Now, the term thug, its origin or its psyop comes from the thuggy Sikh society out of India. Capital T H U double G double E. Okay. Now, the first three founders of the thuggy Sikh society were um, these Indian, nothing against Indian people, but were trying to reveal the psyop as to why people believe the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. So three of the founders of the Thuggy Seeker Society, going back to the 1700s, were a man, was a man by the name of Burram, capital B-E-H-R-A-M. His name uh, is a Hindu name signifying that which is dark or blackness. That's Burram. The second killer who had founded the Thuggy Seeker Society was a man by the name of Lavith, capital L-A-V-I-T-H, okay? Which means life, or which also means live. And the third man that created the Thuggy Seeker Society was a man by the name of Morty, capital M-O-O-R-T-I, capital M-O-O-R-T-I, okay? which means matter. I kid you not. Damn! So the first three creators of the Thuggy Seeker Society, going back almost 300 years ago, was Burram, Black, Lavith, okay, Life or Lives, and Morty, Matter or DNA. So the first letters of Burram, B, Lavith, L, and Morty, M, B, L, M, Black Lives Matter. They have pictures of uh, or, Thuggy? or is yeah T H U G G E E. That's right. There's a couple pictures. You can see yes, them. A There's a guy there that has an go. actual Thuggy life tattoo on him. Yeah. Oh, is that where <laughs> Thug life comes? Yeah. from? Yeah, Thug life comes from. Can I say that? Oh my God! Thank you so much, Xavier, yeah. for showing those pictures. Now, and Xavier, can you do me a favor? Type in Thuggy and dash Kaylee, K A L I. Okay. Kaylee was the goddess. Oh, shit. Yeah, we've seen her. Now, notice the foot. Notice the foot. Kind of a uh, a psyop of George Floyd. The oh, ah. shit. Look at that, Sam. There you go. So Stepping Gary on Shaven him. Was operating oh, on the, the, my the, God. Yes. Derek Shaven was operating under the spirit or demon Kaylee. Look at the also other one. Typing Kaylee, uh, K-A-L-I, with his foot on a man's neck or Kaylee foot on neck. So Whoa, Derek Shaven had no idea. What there you go? Derek Shaven had no idea what spirit he was operating under. It came from that sire. Oh Kaylee. my god. Kaylee is a goddess in Hinduism, which means life. This is where we get the term thug life. Because the goddess of the thuggy seeker society was Kaylee, which means life. Thug, thuggy, life, Kaylee. You whose just foot is on the dropped a hammer, <laughs> dude. There's a picture of Tupac right next to the fucking yes. statue. They, they, dude. And this, this is, is behind. This is, this is, wow. So, oh my God. Oh, can you go back to, to Tupac's picture, uh, Xavier? Right there, oh yeah, my yeah. God. Look at that. You see, in the right foot. Of Kaylee on the chest and the neck. It's a psyop. So Black Lives Matter, the schematical foundation, is from the first three creators of the Thuggy Seeker Society. Oh my God, look at this right here. Later, okay, line. Oh yeah, that's the one I clicked on. Yeah, I'll show you. That's where the spirit of these three women, Alicia Garza, who is a boule, a member of Omega Phi Beta, the second founder of Black Lives Matter, Holy a woman shit. by the name of Patrice Cullors. She's Omega Phi Beta boule. And the third sister is of Nigerian descent, Opal Temeti, 
She is a uh, member uh, of uh, Alpha uh, Kappa uh, uh, Alpha uh, Deboulets. All right. These All right. Men. Okay, Larry. Ahead, I I'm need. I hey, need to understand something. what you're oh. saying to me. Yes. So ahead, is C. So where? Who? Who is? The head of the, is it like the thuggies or is it the CIA or the CIA? You can thuggies or is it a spirit? What, what is, I mean, like, yes, give me, give me. And you hit it right on the button, man of God. It's, it's a spirit. It's a psyop, but black lives matter and Tifa are creatures of the central intelligence agency. So you have to, and where does thuggy come into this? So the term thuggy comes into being when you look at the acronyms of uh, Boule or Black Life Matters or Property, Scientific Property. That comes from the spirit of the thuggy, which U.S. intelligence have studied the history of the Black psyche in the Black mind. So. The money that these three witches are getting are not from black people. They're from people who don't look like we do and from people who don't have our best interests at heart, namely George Soros. He is using the pain and weaponizing our historical trauma against us by using the anger of these three black women who hate black men and all these lesbian, lesbian witches, that's what they, listen, I had no fear in me, but the question, to answer your question, it comes from a spiritual dynamic. It's a demon. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. And the question is how did George Soros come up with this name? Because George Soros is a lover of Hindu Indian mythology. So George Soros, who is a lover of Hindu Indian mythology of Biram and Labeth and Mortai, Black Life Matter, has incorporated that into the pain and the misery of Black people. Why? Because they want to destroy this nation. So when you talk about thuggy, oh my God, so the powers that be have hired the thuggies to yes. basically Shevin is a thuggy and he is part of an assassin cult, basically? Yes. This yeah. Black oh Lives Matter is oh, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny's living over there like nothing. He's not hearing Johnny, it. Do you, do you hear do you this, understand Johnny? understand any of this? Maybe, hey, maybe Bishop Larry Gator shouldn't have said hello to you right. because you're not appreciating the gift he just gave you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I, I'm blown. Black Lives Matter is operating under the psyop of the Thuggy Sicker Society, who were the first ones to do the hand signs that the blood and oh, crypto joined. And after the Thuggies did the hand signs, then those white boys from Skulls and Bones did the hand signs. Where did the Bloods and Crips and every Latino gang in America learn that from? From the psyop of not just the skulls and bones, but going back to the demonic psyop of the thuggy sicker society. Oh my that God! God is Kaylee, which means life. This is where you get the term thug life. It is a thug. You see, why do they wear their pants sagging? Take the word sagging and spell it backwards. You get the word niggas. Capital S A W G I N. Uh, the use of that backwards. word is by Bishop Larry Gators and Bishop Larry Gators only, oh. not by Sam Turpley or Johnny. Occasionally yes. by this is me. no, this is me. no, now, not occasionally. Thank you so much, and that's wisdom, brother Sam. Thank you yes, so much. So, you did great. The word, yeah, so that's it. So the word, and I said this some months ago. Look on the Urban Dictionary, sagging. Spelled backwards is the word niggas. Or sagging with the G is G niggas, which we also get the term G unit. I'm sorry, 50 Cent. <laughs> is rooted in a thuggish, Kaylee Seeker society. So it's demonic. That's why they call themselves two pack, 20 pack, little bow wow, little kitten, because we don't look at ourselves as human beings part of the human family. We look at ourselves as animals. And that's what the deep state looks at us 
as a piece of a property of matter, Black Lives Matter. And that's the problem. And we're being used again and again. And this has nothing to do with racism, okay? It has nothing in Minneapolis. And as a side note, okay, when we're talking about, there is a project, I'm gonna get, get back to Black Lives. There's a project called Minneapolis 2040. Oh my God, let me break this down. Minneapolis 2040. So the powers that be in Minneapolis, they want to destroy the African-American community and the Latino community through gentrification, just like the LA riots in 1992 had nothing to do with Rodney King and those four cops. That was a psyop because Senior Bush want to, wanted to, through gentrification, destroy South Central, Watts, and Compton in order to build high-rise buildings. So in Minneapolis 2040, 80%, and this is going to blow yours mind now, 80% of the buildings, Brother Sam and Brother Johnny and Brother Xavier, that were destroyed were legally underwritten through insurance by Berkshire Hathaway. Who owns Berkshire Hathaway? Warren Buffett. Wait a minute now. So the rioters don't know that they're being, yes, so the buildings, not all, but most of the buildings that were destroyed during the rioting in Minneapolis were underwritten by Berkshire Hathaway through the National Indemnity Insurance Company, which Warren Buffett owns. So these thousands of bricks all over the country through the Acme Brick Company, capital A-C-M-E, 80% is owned by Warren Buffett. The other 20% is owned by Governor Jay Prisker of Illinois, who is the CEO over the Marmbon Group. And as a side note, the helicopter that Kobe died on, the Sikorsky 76B, was bought three years prior to the death of Kobe Bryant in January 2017. Uh, as the executives from the Island Holdings Group out of Van Nuys traveled to Chicago and bought that Sikorsky 76B helicopter for $517,000 from who? From the Mormon Group that's owned by the Prisker family. I'm not blaming them for Kobe's death. I'm just connecting the dots. All right, oh, go right ahead, Sam. There's here. a there's a whole website on a uh, Minneapolis 2040. It'll explain to you exactly. They're trying to like yeah, yes. re- change the whole city up. So get I mean, rid it, of all the uh, small buildings so they're all high rise. It's, it's, it's a change of which building. Is, I didn't read the which whole thing, is what? but agenda 21 which is get everybody yes. from the little cities and the farmland all johnny's cousins and get them to move <laughs> to like the big city so they can control us it's yes. what's going on in china oh but my they're, you, god but they're, they don't need earth moving equipment they're using the rioters because through problem oh, reaction God. solution, they know if they see a white cop. Now, if it's black folk killing each other, black folk don't do anything. There is no Reverend Al vitamin B deficient Sharpton, <laughs> uh, no Lewis Bean Pie Farrakhan or Jesse Jackson. Okay, but when you see a white cop for whatever reason kills a black kid, then all of these more. And why do we see these men? Because the blue lace. Why do we see Benjamin Crump, who is Sigma Pi Phi? Because your listeners can go on the Benjamin Crump Institute website and look under about Benjamin Crump, go down to the third paragraph and the fourth and fifth sentence of the third paragraph on the Benjamin Crump Institute. He is a member of Sigma Pi Phi. He is a boule, a member, uh, a man of the Michael R. Moore Lodge in Tallahassee, oh Florida. Oh and as a side note, there was a black woman uh, in your neck of the woods, gentlemen, uh, uh, she was found dead I, what, a week or two ago by the name of Josh Wright, or Josh Waters, Josh Waters, okay? Now, she was about to write an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times concerning the hidden life of Kobe Bryant, and all of a sudden, she ends up dead. I'm not accusing anyone. I'm telling you, this is a paradigm 
of manipulation, the paralysis of emotion. And as I end this tonight, so Black Lives Matter are ran by three witches, okay? Alicia Garza, Omega Phi Beta, Boule, uh, Patrice Colors, Omega Phi Beta, Boule, and Opa Temeti of Nigerian descent, Alpha Kappa Alpha. They're all Boule witches. And you're gonna hear a lot of black people come after me. I don't care. I am a contract killer. My job <laughs> is to decapitate demons as we're talking about the paradigm of manipulation and the paralysis of emotion. So yes, thug life comes from the psyop through Indian mythology, through Hinduism, of oh a thuggy, my. sicker society going back two to 300 years who used to assassinate British leaders and lead us from all over the European continent. And as a side note, like I said during the first half of the broadcast, that the term Africa was not the name of the original continent. It's named after Scipio Africanus of the Africanus family in the Roman Empire who practiced spirit cooking long before uh, and Marina Abramovich, <laughs> that witch. Uh, but also Europe, the term Europe is named after a woman of color by the name of Europa. So all of Africa was named after a white Roman general, and all of Europe is named after a woman of color. Another topic for another day. So Black Lives Matter, okay, is the second head of this serpent on the body of this 32nd, 33rd degree system. How do we destroy it? You, you don't go after Black Lives Matter or even Act Blue, or even Antifa. You go after George Soros. You cut it off at the top. I believe that, and this is, this is Bishop, this is not Sam saying this, or Brother Xavier or Brother Johnny. I believe that the president has got to take him out. I don't know how they're going to do it. You got to take out George Soros, Bill Gates, through the Bill and Melinda Robin Williams Gates Foundation, you got to take out all these devils who are trying to pull the emotional strings of black people. Because most of the rioters don't come from Minneapolis, they come from out of state, okay? And this is the end of what we call the paradigm of manipulation in the paralysis of emotion. Any questions? If this no, is dude. Of I blew my mind, mind, dude. We got blown. We got blown minds here. We got lots of minds that have been blown. Uh, <laughs> that sound bite's going to yeah, haunt me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Bishop Larry Gators came in once Shit. again, solidifying himself on the Mount Rushmore. He is one of the top three that has agreed upon, and we don't know who is the fourth. There are a bunch of people fighting for men and women, uh, and we love it. Larry, one more time, please, Bishop, tell them where they can find all of your amazing stuff. Thank you, my friend. Uh, go to liferadionj.com, liferadionj.com forward slash Gators, G-A-I-T-E-R-S, and we are nationally syndicated through the Life Radio Network, 92.9 FM, 1460 AM. And also, you can uh, look us up on, on the uh, iHeart Radio Network in the iHeart Media Group under podcasts. We're internationally syndicated. We average online around between 20 to 25 million people worldwide. That's not a lot of people. That is a lot of people. <laughs> Well, compared to 7.6 billion, we're trying. But also, you can follow me on social media. Go to facebook.com forward slash Bishop L. Gators. That's G-A-I-T-E-R-S. Also, when you go to Facebook, type in Global Spiritual Revolution Radio and join our Global uh, Spiritual Revolution uh, right here in, in the 21st century. Last but never least, uh, follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Bishop L. Gators, at Bishop L. Gators, capital G-A-I-T-E-R-S. And last but not least, with your permission, Brother Sam and Brother Xavier and Brother Johnny, please, if you guys out there uh, throughout the world who are followers of this one of the most powerful, matter of fact, ten, the Tin Foyer Hat podcast radio show is my favorite show. <gasps> and I think you guys are number one in America. And I really mean that. And I'm not just talking from the top of my head. I believe that you guys are number one. And you guys are just going to blow out, blow off, 
and blow away any other radio station here in America. Go to paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Again, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. One more time, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Whether it's $50, $100. I know things are tight right now because of the shutdown, but please bless us as we continue to decapitate demons and to expose the government of Satan. For the first letter of Lucifer, L, first letter of Satan, S, first letter of devil, D, does your LST. And can I say this before we close out tonight? Yes. That for you biblical students, in Ezekiel 28, 13, the first three stones upon the breastplate of the king of Tyrus, which the sign of Tyrus, Tyrus means tied, to Lenal. Uh, Lenal is a high ranking demon in Persian mythology. This is where we get the pharmaceutical phrase Tylenol. Another topic for another day. But there's first three stones upon the breastplate of Tyrus in Ezekiel 20 13 is Sardis S, Topaz T, Diamond D, STD. So when I say STD, <laughs> the first thing that comes to your mind, sexually transmitted diseases. That's the nature of not only Lucifer in the serpent, that's the nature of this global Baphomet, Luciferian deep state. As we are ending tonight, this teaching, the paradigm of manipulation, the paralysis of emotion, and I think. Larry, you are great as always. We appreciate you. Please hold on as we end the show. Uh... Guys, thank you so much. Xavier, Johnny, yeah, uh, please not please don't talk so much next time, Johnny. <laughs> you, you really threw the Larry off. I appreciate you guys. You're the best. And we will see you guys soon. Hopefully I'll be in Buffalo and I'll see you guys. We, we, we go deep, homeboy. Aaron, open your mind. Drink from the fountain of knowledge. There's lizard people everywhere. That's some interdimensional shit. Wake up, Aaron. This is only the beginning. Dude, you just blew my mind. Tim foil hack, Tim foil hack.